I gather that when we pay our uh, electric bills, we just send it in the utilities. Right. That's that's one copy, but um, one one copy of the triplicate copies goes to the IRS. And right. That's, that's what I was the, thinking. That's the, that's the front page. Now, Patrick said we could go ahead because he gave us uh, fillable forms of all of them, but uh, we have to file the A on the on the printed sheet so it can be scanned in, or there's a penalty. Oh, but we okay. we can file the copy Bs, and I think the copy Cs is our copy, right? I believe you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that we 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 would send in the copy B to the utility company. Yes. But then I gather we don't have to send the A's in at the same time. So I, I, I think he was saying, you know, get the process started and then catch up when you get the forms to send the A's, in to A's and C's into the IRS. Right. Tom, I have a question. It's Keisha. Yeah. Hi, now, Keisha. He, hi. He's saying that you're saying that for the 1099 it says here, do not cut or separate the form. Right. So that, that means you have to say you have to you have to have one copy, which is all three forms, A, B, and C, go to the IRS. Another copy, another one, B goes to the debtor. Say it's the uh, doctor. Say it's the utility bills. Or the, By the, B, you mean copy B. Copy B of the C. Yes, ten and nine C. Yes. Uh, but so so I'm confused because. I'd have to have three of the 1099Cs, three A's, three B's, and three C's. One goes to the IRS, all three of them. One goes to the... The way, the way I understand it is that if you have only one bill you're paying... Yeah, so the tax, the tax is on your house. Then, then you're going to chew up one, a, a, a one sheet of A's which has three forms on it, yeah. where two of them are going to be blank. Oh, okay. Okay. So if, okay. But so, if yeah. if you are wanting to do, let's say three uh, three three A's for three different people, uh huh. You put them all on that same sheet, and then you cut up the copy B's to send them to each of the proper pay places. Oh, because it says do not cut or separate the forms. Yeah. You can't separate the A, but I, I don't believe because you don't send the IRS the A. So what are they going to know what you do with the B copy? Right, you just send the A to the I. It says for Internal Revenue Service Center. That the A is only goes to them. The B goes to whoever the bill sent you the bill, and the C is ours. Right. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You know what? Um, all right. When you're done with that, I have a different question with the first savings plan we could work on. Are we going to be working on any forms today? Uh, I guess we could, but it would have been better that we decided that ahead of time so everyone would be prepared to do that and be at their computers to do that. Oh, but okay. I, I mean, if you're, if you're going to, the first thing to do for the first savings plan would be the TSP-1. The TSP-1? Yes. Oh, you mean the UCC-1? No, TSP-1. We also oh, need the UCC-1. Oh, you mean the TSP-70, the TSP but the TSP-1 TSP-70 is for withdrawing your money. Right. But you need the TSP-1 to get access to your account. Oh. But, but you know what? I was reading the whole document, and it says on the back end of it, the last page. Which document? The TSP-70. Okay. Um, on the bottom, it says Privacy Act Notice. More bill. It says, Hi. We are also, it says uh, on the bottom, I had sent an email out. And it says, um, let me read the second part of it. We will use this information to identify your TSP account and to process your transaction. So they're kind of saying you got to fill this out before you even get the account. 
before they determine. Yeah, the last page on this, on the last page on the bottom of the last page, and that's that's. Let I got a little confused because I'm saying. Let, let me saying, pull. Let me pull that up. Yeah, they're actually mm-hmm. saying that fill it out, and then we'll give you the TSC count number because I don't have it. And you said the no, TSC. No, we do have it. What the well, TSC? Pat, what Patrick is saying is we do have it. The TSC uh, account number? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. It's our three-digit state code followed by our birth certificate. Oh. Oh, the three-digit state code followed by our birth certificate number. My case, it'll be my naturalization number. Right. Oh. And that's what the TSP uh, one does. Is you, you that's to gain a username and password for your account. So oh, you were okay. count, so you were saying the TSP seventy has to proceed. It has a, a form. Has TSP to come seventy before. is for basically closing the account or making yeah, a withdrawal. Would, yeah, I would love to do that, but 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 I'd have to have to, uh, the form one before fill that out. Yes, that's, that's the way I that's the way I read it. Okay, so what's that? The TSP one you said. Yeah. Like T. No, uh, Pat, Patrick did download that, and uh, however, I I did put it in my directory. For mm-hmm. I've I've had some something has happened on Yahoo, and I can add new links, but I can't add new files. Yeah, I didn't get the TSP one. Okay. I'm, I usually try to download everything like you know on time. But I do have I do have. Remember, I back up everything to e concurrent. You back up every so what? I I I back up Patrick's files to econcurrent dot yeah. com slash divine slash files. Yeah, I got that. Okay, mm-hmm. and so things that I can't add to the, to the group site, I I still back them up. So there, you can either download the TSP one yourself, or you can go get it from where, uh, the backups that I provided. Yeah, I'm looking. I have TSP okay. seven. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, I did download it. You're right. Cool. Okay, so I have so the TSP one has to be done. I think so. The, yes, I th- yeah. I th- I think that that's basically what's it say on the form here. Yeah, I have to look it up because I completely overlooked Thrift that savings one. plan election form. I take yeah. that that at the first box is information about you. Uh. Second block is where you're setting aside because remember this is this is advertised as a a a, a federal re- thrift and retirement plan, mm-hmm. and that could be very well be used for it. But uh, they don't, you know. Patrick says that's not the only use for it. The real yeah, use we- for it, the real use for it, is is to hide our other accounts. Right, because it's amazing how they're like it's all scattered everywhere. Right. The account. Um, the only thing is, um, with the TSP seventy, they're saying that that you need to call up and talk to a representative that would help you finish filling it out and then sending it in. Okay. Do you have that language in front of you? Yeah. Hold on a second. I'll read it. Well. There, I think the same language is at the bottom of the TSP one. So let oh, me okay. let me read what the TSP one says. Uh, we we are authorized Privacy Act notice. We are authorized to request the information you provide on this form under 5 U.S.C. Chapter 84, Federal Employees Retirement System. Your agency or service will use this information to identify your TSP account and to start, change, or stop your TSP contributions. In addition, uh-huh. this information be, may be shared with other federal agencies for yeah. statistical auditing or archiving purposes. This information yeah, I, I may have. also this information is that the same? Yeah, it's the same. It's the oh, same on the TSP seventy. This information may also be shared with law enforcement agencies investigating a violation of civil or criminal law or agencies implementing a statute, rule, or order. It may be shared with congressional offices, private sector audit firms, spouses former spouses, beneficiaries, and their attorney. 
Relevant portions of the information may also be disclosed to appropriate parties engaged in litigation and for other routine uses as provided in this Federal Register. You are not required by law to provide this information, but if you do not provide it, your agency or service will not be able to process your request. You know, Tom, I think we should, this is a really good form, and I think we should really, like, uh, troubleshoot and just do this PS, this thrift saving plan, um, PSC 1 and 70. Like, uh, do we have to do a UCC 1 prior to this stuff? Well, the UCC 1 is, what the UCC 1 does is, is, is it's part of our making our claim to our birth certificate and our social security account. So in addition to setting up the estate number, uh, you do the 56s to get your fiduciary responsibility over it. You do the W-8 to uh, set up your tax status, and then you file the UCC-1 to say that you are claiming these accounts. Okay, so... And so then, then you're, you're doing the same thing with the uh, open letter of recall and the uh, letter of safe passage, which you, I, I think we still send in uh, with our either with our first bill of exchange or before our first bill of exchange. And we all well, we refer to these documents then, UCC one and W eight and and the other things on the memo line of every bill of exchange we submit. That's my that's understanding. Yeah, that's that's like I have to listen to this because I'm trying to like put it in like a logical order for my brain to to process the stuff. So, so what you said was a lot. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, oh, we can go know, we can go back over it again. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. Um, I and you know what's funny? I sent in my EIN and uh, information to get it, and the IRS sent me back a fax saying. Um, that I I don't have the correct names right. I have the you know the uppercase you know decedent, and then I have the lowercase living person, and they say that it's the same person. They're telling me that I have to change it. They accepted mine. Right, I did it just the way you know, you know, they're supposed but to. The way Patrick is, the way Patrick is. Well, we let's go over that with Patrick tomorrow. They they yeah. could be they could be tightening the rules. Yeah, they are. They definitely are. Right. Um, because they sent it back, and I what I'm going to do is maybe because they sent it back Friday, I'm going to fax them back saying, well, the uppercase. I was just going to put in their little note area. The uppercase, all caps, name. This is the student. Do you think I should do? Think that sounds good? On the on the first line, where it asked for. Um, Decedent or estate or whatever name. Did you put your all capital letter name, first name first, middle name yeah. last name last, and then yeah. a dash and estate after that? Yes, I did. Okay, because that that's something that they sent back to me saying uh -huh. that it had to have a state on that line. Yeah, yeah. I had the first time I had, you know, my first, middle, and last name all uppercase, and I didn't have a state word after it. So I, they asked me to put that in. I put it in. And then now they're sending it back saying that the number three, which is the executor, is saying that it's the same name. It can't be, but it's, I put my last name first. And they're telling me that's the same person. Which is interesting. Well, when I, I I'm I'm looking at mine, what I send in, yeah. and in block three, uh, the executor, administrator, or trustee, I put Thomas Widler dash executor, but in upper lower case. Oh, you put your first name and the last yeah, name in did, order. Yeah, we did. We did because uh, I did this before Patrick mm -hmm. figured out the order switch. Yeah, then you got it. I mean, you know, you. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I mean maybe I did I this on did this on March fourth, last March fourth. Yeah. yeah, I did this end of September. Maybe then I should just send him another one, putting executive trips at the end of it. But I did that on the bottom line. I don't yeah. know. It, it's crazy. Um, maybe I should do it online instead. I don't know. I'll have to figure that. Yeah, I, when when I sent mine in, I actually did where they say name and title and type. Yeah, I did put 
uh, Thomas Weidler, that's executor, and uh, I should just sign to Thomas Weidler. Yeah, so you see, that's like you said, they're picking and choosing. All right. All right, I'll mute out until I have something else. Okay. Anybody have anything else they want to discuss? Uh, hello, Tom. How you doing? It's Marvell. Uh, who? Who? Marvell. Okay. Okay. You're, you're kind of soft. Oh well, it's probably because I got it at low volume. Okay. But um. Okay. That's a little better. But can you hear me? Can you hear me better now? Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um. I'm glad you're speaking about the forms today because uh, we were going online, you know, my companion and myself, and we was looking over some things, and she had a few questions that she wanted to ask to clear some things up. So is that okay with you? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Hi, my uh, name. Uh, 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 what, which, forms are, which forms are these on? SS4. Okay. I just now, as, as Pat, Patrick will say, uh, did you read the instructions for the SS4? Yeah, I've been looking. I have been looking at the instructions. Good. Okay. Good. And um, I just want to make sh clear about something because when you go online to apply for the SS4, they have a bunch of things you can check, like sole proprietor, partnership, corporations, estate. You know, these different things you can check off. Right. And um, I, I'm understanding that people are checking off sole proprietor. Is that true? No, not not to get the uh, number for the estate. Oh, okay. So would we be checking estate? Let me check where what I did here. Okay. Yes, you check estate and just your social security number. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You answered and clarified it for me. That's all I needed to know. I really appreciate uh, it. Thank you. No, the sole proprietor, you get, normally you get EINs for businesses. So yeah. uh, if, if you're, you're you're getting a business that you're running yourself uh, and you're not incorporated, right. you, then you would be a, a sole proprietor. Okay. You, you, you clarified everything for me. I was just confused with sole proprietor and a because I thought it was an estate. I just wanted to make sure it was a state. That's all. Yes, it is a state. That's it's what we're putting in there. Your name dash estate. Okay. And, and number one, legal name of entity. Okay. Oh, you put a dash after your name? Uh, yes, a dash estate. All okay. in uppercase. All in uppercase. Okay. I'm gonna, you know, Patrick, I'm um, sorry, Thomas, I'm going to try to do it online, even though I sent it into the IRS. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't do it online. I, I yeah. basically took, took took the form and signed it, and then I I faxed it in. Oh, okay. Um, because they want your signature. I don't know how you would do it online. It's yeah, you can. I don't think you can do it online with a signature. Yeah, that's, that's odd. Well, some people have done it online. Right, but it. if you yeah. if you fax it in, you know, there's. There's two ways of faxing it. Do you have a fax machine? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then 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 you have the easy way. Other people don't have a fax machine. So what yeah, they I have do to that. do what uh -huh. they have to do is to, to sign it, rescan it back in as a PDF, go to fax zero, which is an on, online service and uh, you know there there you can uh, send in a fax up to 3 pages for free. Oh, okay, and I got faxed. That's how I did it first. And they but make sure that, that w when you fax it in, that you put your fax number uh, mm -hmm. on on there. Yeah, I did. Ask on the bottom line, telephone number and fax number. Yeah, I and did. You should, you should get a fax. You should get a fax reply. I did, and they. That's why they told me um, I'm missing certain information, and and the the. Line one and line three are the same person they're telling me, but I, I'll, I'll play with it. Well, right now the way I understand stand it, well, my mine was Tom Thomas J Weidler dash estate, and but then I put down on number three executor is is Thomas Weidler dash executor, uh, 
upper and lower case. Uh, do you use the word executor twice or once? No, the first time, uh, line one is a state. No, no, line three I'm talking about. Box line three. three has the label, which says three, executor, administrator, trustee, care of name. So I, I put down to... Thomas Thomas Weidler dash executor. Okay. So I didn't, uh, it's executors in the box twice, but I only put one of them in. Yeah, 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 I saw that. All right, I'll, I'll try, I'll do another one and send it in again on Monday. Okay. Well, pa Patrick has said that, you know, uh, a lot of times you may have to, and he has had to do this, where the people down down on the floor may, may, may come up with this stuff, and you have to fight fight the way, your way, way up to management to the people who uh, do have to know this. And if you say, say it right way, you can get them to agree to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you know that you that you realize that uh, this the state was set up at at your birth, and in fact, there was a phrase that I saw that uh, infant is defined as infant somewhere is defined as a state or a person who does no does not yet have a social security number. Uh, but it, 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 the definition, that definition, even though really confusing, does support this concept that uh, your your upper lowercase name is actually a corporation. Because you could go out and start a business that way if you want. John Smith, you know, the John Smith Company. Wow. That you sign as John Smith, and yes, the names are the same. But you don't say no. The names are not the same. The names are similar. Yeah, they're not the same. Okay. Um, so, if we don't, if people don't have questions, we should target it one form and, and just yeah. like, like dissect each form that we need to um, implement and submit, you know, or whatever. All right. Which will be helpful. And the UCC one, he did a UCC one, or was it a UCC postal one? Did you see that one that he did? He he did a UCC one in the directory called Taking Control. That's the latest one I could find. That's on seven six. Maybe that's the one I have. I and. I think the only difference with that one is that he hadn't arrived at the different word order for your living name at that point. Mm. Now, I, I I tried to take it out of the, the taking control directory and put it into the current tax collector, but this past week, uh, Yahoo won't let me upload files. And he's removed the taking control directory from the from the group site, so that if you want that, you have to go go to my backups because I did put the UCC one form in in the tax collector uh, folder over over in the backup, even though I couldn't get it onto the group site. It's the, it's, it's called taking control. The current directory current directory is called American Taxpayer U. Yeah, I got I got all everything. He updated some stuff in there again. No, I took the, took the UCC one because he said last call that yes, yeah. we needed to do UCC ones. Yeah. But his last UCC one was in his directory called Taking Control. Okay. Which he no longer has up there. But ever since I've been downloading every file he's put up there, so I I have all the files, including the ones he's deleted. Okay. So you're going to have to go to uh, econcurrent.com slash divine slash, slash files and then go into the t uh, 12 American Taxpayer U uh, directory and look at the two UCC1 forms there. Yeah, I have uh, well, one, one, is one. A form in the, uh, one is a form and the other one is a write-up on what to put in the Section 8 financial statement. 
and it's in the financial statement where you are uh, claiming uh, 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 claiming your birth certificate, social security account, driver's license, and voter registration cards, and things like that. Yeah, that's the one I have. That's the one that's called the uh, All New Postal Estate Template. You should see one. Right. All New Postal Estate. Yeah, I have it. Okay, good. Okay. Now, I actually, that came out after I had already filed my UCC1. And Patrick says that but probably, I, uh, even though he made some improvements between the two, that I actually really don't have to file another one, just get, get that number and put that, that old number and put it on the uh, bill of exchange. Where did you file it, the UCC1? Washington State. So you just mail it in and then they mail you back? No, you do it you? online. Online, okay. All right. <laughs> and they don't do it with a UCC1 form. What you really need to file it in, in Washington State is fill out the UCC1 form uh, and on your computer. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the website, they don't ask for the questions in the same order. Oh, okay. But... Uh, just uh, have your UCC one form up in one window and have their form up in another window and copy and paste between the two. Good idea. Hmm. And they charge $11 for filing online. Yeah, I think that's a good idea to do the UCC one first. And, um, well, you need the estate number first for that because you put the estate number in that form. Oh, geez, I have to wait for that. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, Thomas, um, the W-8 is interesting, isn't it? Uh let me get it up. Yeah, I know I'm, not, I'm jumping. I'm, I'm not jumping sure around. I have, pardon? I'm jumping around. Yeah, that, you know that's my... why I suggested we we uh, yeah. kind of plan an agenda so we can all have the forms up all at the same time. Well, there's only a few of us on the uh, call, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I can bring it up. Don't worry. I can bring it yeah, up. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. But, uh, my husband files taxes every year, and I keep telling him, you know, about it, and he doesn't listen to me. So he files and I sign joint. Um, but the W-8 is an exemption form, for an exemption, right? Yes. So I am, I wonder if that's going to affect the way he files. Well, I, I think what what amounts to is looking at the W-8 form. I'm looking at it, yeah. And I'm going to make it a size bigger so I can read it better. And I'm going to go full screen. The important part is down in, in this section certification. Check all three boxes. Yeah, yeah, Patrick had it all checked out too. So you check all three boxes. And it says also the account number is your zip code plus the four digits. The account numbers should be your certificate of live birth. Oh. The account account type is checking. Your social your social security number, account type is savings. Ah, okay. So it's the it's a naturalization number, and then it's the account has to be check in, and then yes. SSN and savings. Interesting. Right. Because I thought he said he changed it to the zip code plus the four three digits. Uh, no, that's the, for the routing. That that that's uh, the zip code plus the four three digits is your federal identification number. It's not an account number. Oh, okay. The account your number certificate is, of live yeah. birth and your social security number are account numbers. And your federal your federal identification also serves as your routing number uh, on on the bill of exchange. That's the EIN number. The, uh, no, no, that's the zip code. He he had it before as the EIN number, and he changed it to the zip code. Because oh, okay, okay. uh, you have to put a routing number just like on the bottom of the check. You have to put a routing mm -hmm. number and an account number. Um, it says here on the W-8 on the top right-hand side, U.S. taxpayer identification number, if any. Right. And that would be the zip code? 
No, that no. would be, you know, that that. Uh, the tree, yeah. remember. No, oh yeah. If I don't have it, I have to leave it blank. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That that should be the EIN if I have it. Oh, these right. non people want the IRS. Right? No, I'm not sure it should be the EIN. I I because uh, you know pa- Patrick has not pro- provided us a sample for the WA as, as far yeah. as I know. Tax pay identity. Let me see if, he, if I have because I usually like to print out whatever he puts in. Oh, he puts in not available NA. Oh, he puts in NA? Okay. Yeah, he put NA in there, and he did put the SSS. SS, oh, that's weird. I guess the account number could be either or. The SSN number should could be first, and it's the estate public savings, and then the certificate of uh, live birth or the naturalization is the estate public check-in. That's what he puts okay. in it. Yeah, you could do it in either order. Either or, yeah, it doesn't matter. Once you have the right uh, type put in. Right. Um, yeah, okay. I finally found my route number, so that's cool. I looked it up. All right. And, you know, yeah, that's what I should find out about, like, when my husband submits the uh, his income tax, if I should put this W-8 in with his. No, Patrick says that, well, we don't have to submit it. Okay. But that we we include it evidently with every bill of exchange we set in. So that's all basically for the bill of exchange. Right. Interesting. All right. I think for a while he what he was doing was submitting all these base documents at at first to the postal recorder, but mm-hmm. now I. I He's, he's uh, I guess, submitting them to the Federal Financing Bank. But, you know, submitting them is sort of sort of uh, like signing up with your signature card. They're your identification documents for your account. You don't need to send them in every time. But you need to refer I, to them in the memo line. I get so dizzy when you talk about how much stuff he sends in. It's like so much paperwork. Well, there is, but, you know, it's... But you know, just look at one of his bill of exchanges that he lists the things that uh, on the memo. I know he sends in so much form. He's like a form nut. All right. Huh? He must love bureaucracy is paperwork. (laughs) Okay. If anybody has questions, I'll mute out. Okay. Anything else? Yes. How you doing, Tom? It's Marvell again. Uh, how you doing? Okay, uh, I got a little something for you. Uh, you said something about. Oh, uh, uh, you're 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 much much softer again now. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me try it again. Let's see. Uh, give me it, now the R ah was the correct volume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I got something here from the RS manual. Okay. What's that? On, on infinite. On infants. IRS manual? Yes, yes this is an IRS manual. It comes from the manual, but it's you you guys might get a hard time trying to get it offline because <laughs> I had to look it up. So Oh, okay. you can you can send in the link? Uh no, they took it down. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, what did they say about infants? Okay, this this is uh I'm gonna give you the code. It says R S Manual 21.7.13.3.2.2. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Well, let okay. me. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna bring up something and then ask you to repeat that. Okay. Good one. Go ahead. Read that out for me. Read it out loud for me. Your voice might carry. Um, this particular code defines an infant, and it says an infant is the decadent of an estate or grantor, owner or trustor of a trust. Do, 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 go, 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 go slower. Okay. Just, just, so, so, so it's a decedent of an estate. Of a, an estate or grantor. Or, or, or grantor. grantor. Okay. Mm-hmm. Comma, owner or trustor of a trust. Or trustor of trust. 
comma, okay. guardianship, got, comma, okay, receivership, yep, or custodianship, okay, that has yet to receive an SSN. That has yet to receive an Yes, that's exactly the one that I saw quoted L for. Now what was that number? It was it was from the IRS manual twenty one point seven point thirteen point three point two point two. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you know you see so you know, just like what Patrick says about Anderson's law dictionary. Yeah. You know, that uh an infant is not a young child, an infant is, is all these corporate entities. Yes it is. Yeah. That's yes. all it is. And yeah. uh, and and matter of fact when I called somebody in uh Internal Revenue Service, I even told them that. I said, look, the name, you know, I didn't want to argue with, with a name. I said, you have ownership of the all uppercase, and you have ownership of our copyrights of the Uniform Commercial Code, and I really don't want to play these games for, with you, but I have a birth certificate and a Social Security number, and I am the living. All of a sudden, the phone got quiet. Yes, that's what you have to do. Yeah. They say when you, and in fact, Gita, uh, prob probably if uh, or whoever's having trouble with this, uh, getting the state EIN, uh -huh. it, it'd probably probably be good to uh, ha have this uh, a quote of what an infant is, and explain to them that uh, what you're putting on the first line is the estate, and the estate is a corporation. It it has has a similar name to yours, but it's not the same entity. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm happy that that can help everyone. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Now, that was exactly the quote I was trying to remember. I, I saw that online somewhere about 10 days ago. I, I didn't capture it one, like I usually do. Yeah, I, I was trying to go online and uh, look for some other stuff, but when I went online to look for this again, I noticed that they slammed it off. And luckily, I, I keep right. I keep a lot of records, like uh, Article 6209, showing that, which is another IRS, showing that you're not liable to pay taxes. They have, right. and, and <laughs> yeah, I sent I sent them a letter with that in it, and guess what? I never heard from them again. <laughs> oh, why don't you post that paragraph to the group? Okay, I'm on. I, I had to go look for it again. Cause, yeah. Like I say, when once you get it, they they take it down. You know. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. So these, these are all useful things. These are the kind of you know when you get flack from the lower echelon, and their their job is to give you flack, and their job is not to know what's going on, just to give you flack. Well, you know, you know what? It, I mean, what I, I was I was wondering, would this be a a, a good idea, like? Once, you know, we figure out the forms that uh, Patrick put out and the forms are done correctly, we post these forms and give, have written down ex explanations on what these lines mean to everyone. And then you think that might slow down the, the process of um, people asking I think, I, I think I think we need to do that for ourselves, and in fact, that's what I'm trying to do, and I'm, I'm bear with all kinds of crap around, but that's why I've gone ahead and transcribed some of his calls, to try to get things in writing. Oh, fantastic. Hey, fantastic. hey Thomas, okay. I, I found it. I'll, I'll post it. Yay. Okay. The IRS manual, uh, 21.7.13, blah, 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 I found it. Should I send it Yay. to you? Wow, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Yes, uh, I'll, I'll put it. Well, um, just just post it to the group. I'll, I'll, I'll subject it to the infant. Just, just, just post it to the group. Yeah, actually, okay. actually, I, uh, could you find an Article 6209 also from the RS manual? Um, article, I'll look it up. 
Okay, 6209. Oh, let me look it up while you guys are talking. Yeah, but but I, I think we, we need to be careful about this because Patrick is absolutely right. We don't want we don't want to make this all public available so someone can just put in their name and get a whole bunch of forms to file because they're going to run into the same crap. The IRS is going to challenge them. Yeah, yeah. And, and the more the more that uh, uh, unknowing people do this, it's going to ease, make it easier. It makes it for the IRS to shut them down. Yeah. So, no. so, 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 so we need to do this for for our friends or, or people who need help. And we need yeah, to make good. sure that before they do anything, uh, uh, they you can be the IRS agent and giving them a hard time, and they have to explain it to you. Right. Okay. Well, that sounds that sounds good because, like you said, if if, if that's like children, you know, if you right. got a lot of kids out there saying grown ups words, they actually they don't know what the grown ups talking about. They just mimicking. No, but the children learn very well, and the moment the moment you could they can understand it, they they know it as well as you do. Yeah, but you have to give them that first. Right, right. Because because in a way, all of us we are like children, and yes, we're we're stri- I mean, we lived a whole life of lies, and now we're trying to correct ourselves, not the government, not the school board education, not mom and dad. Yeah, we're trying to do it ourselves, and and in somewhat it is causing us injury, because once we learn this stuff, we realize that the state that we in, uh, was the state of mind, it is causing right. us injury once we wake up to find out, hey, you know, you've been working uh, like that, twenty five years. That's only for a short while. Once once you find you have render injury, you also find out you have remedy. Yes. Yes, I like the remedy part, but the yeah. trying to get, it's trying to get to the remedy, like the Board of Education, the court well, rooms. The, the, the well, well, court we, well, I agree with Patrick. We don't want the courtrooms. No, I don't we want, want the courtrooms. We want, we want the Constitution. No, no, no. Don't don't give me you know, okay. don't give me misunderstood. I wasn't speaking on that aspect. I was speaking on the aspect that they have caused injury. By yes. Oh, yes. formulating oh, yes. the lies and putting the lies out there. They never once came to you when you was like 21 years old or 25 with a letter and said, that, hey, you have an estate. <laughs> you know, your education, your school, and all of that will be taken care of for you. You don't have to worry about that. You you did your seven years of servitude to us. See, they never informed us of none of this. And they're and not, you, never going to. Yeah. Yeah, I, and we're trying to... But, but the thing about the system is that they actually do tend to follow their own rules most of the time. Okay. And so so that if... And they, they do, you know, if, if you point out to them that once there is an injury or... I, I think the phrase in the law is once there is an injury or liability, there must be a remedy. Yes. That's true. And, what, and once once you bring that out to them, they'll go along with it. Oh, you Not one? happy. <laughs> Not happily. So yeah. the, the, the phrase I've been using to talk, to, you know, my my approach to it is once I understand this and the people give me a hard time, I I want to go invite them to lunch, and say, okay, let's sit down and fill out these things together because the moment moment where this works, you can do it too, and you don't need that damn job. Right. Right. See. <laughs> you know, I've been I, I've been trying to do this and try to explain this to you know a lot of people I know that needs this. Right, but, you can't do it in an angry term, and you can't dump it on them before they're prepared no, for it. No, I, I don't do that. I, I try to tell right. them, look, you you need a little education. All these years you've been seeing me trying to figure something out, and why don't you go here and just just read it? That's it. Just read it. Because well, they show you know, me to read it, and I will I will assist them even more if they show me that they will read it. Okay, um, almost everybody understands there's something really wrong with our system. Yes, but they can't believe what it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, it's it's, it's horrific. If, yeah, I mean, 
Well, it's, a, it's just what Himmler says. If you're going to tell a lie, make it a big lie because everybody will believe it. Then. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did. That's yeah. What they did. And, 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 and like like I said, once once people figure out that it's, it's a horror story, it's the worstest horror story you can come up with, okay? It's, it's death. It's blood. It's killing of innocent, of children. It's wiping you out all together, period. No matter what you make in life, somebody is going to take it because, like the story of ants and the grasshoppers. Got well, it. guess what? Somebody in government happened to be the ants. I mean, uh, the grasshopper and all of us are the ants. There's more of us than them, guys. We don't right. have to fight them. Well, the, the other thing that goes back to this liability and remedy thing yeah. is that even though they have lots of power, we have a very simple power, and that's to say no. Yes. 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 And and the only thing I would want it from them, you know, I don't even want the information. I want what I put into it, times, whatever. You know, I don't already put in my time with these guys. Is, this, is that Marvin? Marvin? Yes. Yes. I, I posted I posted the article fifty two oh nine also. It's in the email. Thank you, dear. Okay. Sure. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, yes, yes. I'll I send you a bill. Okay. <laughs> I'll well, send well, you a bill. And, and he'll he'll give you ten ninety nine C. Hey, that's that, you know, yeah, that's, that's a good one. I like that one. Right? I'll be glad when we discuss how to fill those out too in the vouchers. But uh, right. don't forget, Tom started it when he asked for the info, and it just registered in my head. So you got to right. set Tom for that one. Hey, Thomas. Yes. Have you have you done a 1099C? Because my mom is having some issues. Um, she took out a, a reverse mortgage to help. You know, she's she's elderly and she doesn't have a really social security sucks. So she's trying to get some extra income on her house and um, a loan collector sent her a message saying blah 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 but uh, what I want to do is um, the reverse mortgage I wanted to do a 1099C for her have you ever done any of that no I'm about to though I'm going yeah, to get rid I of mean, my mortgage that way what I'm going yeah, to do well, is do a 1099C to uh-huh. uh, ter- terminate that process and uh-huh. then do a 1099A to get everything back that I paid in um, but she took out a reverse mortgage, so they just gave her a loan. I can, I would probably just have to do the 1099C for her, help her with do that for her. Right. I, I won't get, have to do get, the 1099A because she really didn't put any money out. She did okay, pay a mortgage but, for 30 years. Yes, but she can go back and do a 1099A on that previous mortgage. Oh, good. I'm going to have to work on that with her. Okay. Cool. Okay. Would I have to do a 1099C before the 1099A on her? No, only if the mortgage is still outstanding, if they say you owe something. But if, they, if they've if they settled the debt, yeah. you know, if the debt, debt's off the books, then you you don't need to, to do the C. You don't need to cancel it. You just need to uh, acquire yeah. it. Yeah, so the reverse mortgage, mortgage I would just do a 1099 on for her. That's the way I understand it, but that would be a good question to ask Patrick. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to try and see, you know, if it helps. All right. Okay. You also go to your utility company and ask them to bill you for a year in advance. And I was going to help her uh, do that with her taxes, too. They, they're, she's in, she's a elderly, and they're taxing her for school taxes and all that kind of crap. Oh. Yes, I I believe you should be able to do a 1099C on that, uh, but I would check with Patrick. You know, it, I don't think it's not probably not worth the battle to say I really didn't owe those taxes. Instead, just set them off and then ex- exhibit your WH status that you're independent now. So if I help her with the 1099C on her taxes, I would submit the, I, the I WH. believe that I believe that's the correct form to do for IRS, yes. Yeah, I would have to send her 1099C um, taxes to the outfit that sends her the bill. Yeah, now we remember what, what Patrick is doing now. I think he's still, for these bills, he's still sending in a bill of exchange a 1099C along with it, 
and a 1099-V. V, v his, like in Barry. Like in Voucher, which is the voucher, one form yeah. that he made up. Yeah. Okay. She lives in New York, and I'm here in L.A. Yeah, but there's telephone. Doesn't phones, matter. Yeah. You can do you can do video calls. Yeah, get squi- get Skype, and you can do screen screen sharing. Yeah, yeah. I have to help her. <laughs> and right. my brother-in-law is a, a an accountant, and I can't even talk to him about the stuff. He's so boxed in. His, you know. He, well, talk to him after you wipe out your loans. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, you yeah. want me to show you how? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a retired accountant, and it's like I can't even talk to him about taxes. He's like, you know, I know all about that stuff. Well, I, I that have a, a a friend who uh, who's who's an uh, was actually was the second in command at the uh, National Archives. He was a graphic artist, and he was in charge of all the exhibits, including Smithsonian. And his wife is an ex-prosecutor, and I've told them about this stuff, and they don't quite believe it, but they 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 are very willing to take a look at it once it works. Exactly. Very cool. I right, so you know you can you can have fun with this, and you you, know, you yeah. can help people and do it with the right attitude. If they if they uh, if they say this won't work, and I say okay, fine, and then you I'll go back. Try it. You go back and rub it in later. Yeah, yeah. So before I do it, I'll make sure I have all my ducks lined up. Before, yeah, right. You know, make sure I'll it works. To make Patrick sure it works for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay? Okay, cool. Any more? Okay, no, we, nothing. We, we've so exhausted let's... ourselves then. Okay. Yeah, what we, what we could do is on Sunday night, we can just let start working with forms, getting more familiar with all their, feel comfortable with it because I'm new at this form stuff. Okay. I mean, you're a pro at it, but I, I still have to feel comfortable. No, with I'm it. not a pro. I, <laughs> I, 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 I really, uh, I, 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 you saw that quote from Leonardo da Vinci I posted, right? <laughs> well, yeah. Patrick, Patrick is the one who sees. I, I'm, I'm the one who sees when shown. Well, I gotta take my blindfolds off then. Right, and I think we're all we all can see one shown, but it's uh, you know we're still in the learning phase. Yeah, he always talks about the movies, you know. And goes, yeah, I'm looking too close. I have to step back a little. Right, I found another uh, interesting one today. So some mm-hmm. someone showed it. The movie Labyrinth. Do you remember that one? Mm-hmm. You're you're a little bit older than me. What's it called? Movie Labyrinth. It's a labyrinth. It's from 1986. Oh, you're not that old. <laughs> it's, it's uh, well, I'm still old, but. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about the one with Pam or David Boy? David Boy yeah. and Jennifer Connelly. Yeah, that's a oh. good. One. <laughs> Wait, what, it's, I know Pam's Labyrinth, but I, I haven't heard the movie Labyrinth one. Oh, they made Lab- a Labyrinth by David Boy. And it's the last last scene that that, uh, that that is is really very powerful when you find out that uh, the the young girl Jennifer Connelly did this movie when she was 16, mm-hmm. just marv- marvelous acting. That uh, she it turns out that she has the power to say no, and David Bowie, the evil one, has to fade. He has to follow his own rules and fade. I think I might have so, you know, it, it, it's very. I, I think something there with, with what we've learned. It's very good to go back and see some of these things, and to see them with a different eye. I'm I'm not so sure that the writers actually meant good by doing this. I think they were trying, maybe trying to pull one over on us. But we can still learn from what they thought they did. Mm-hmm. A lot of messages. <laughs> yeah, a lot of lot of messages. A lot of way of seeing things. It's because he takes a look at things that uh, is, he looks at them from a different angle, what everybody else has accepted. And yes, there are things that yeah, you can do there. That's you know, you, when you read books, you can find a lot of things the twentieth time through. Mm-hmm. 
So that's that's how we have to keep working at this. You know, we're not going to learn it on the first learning. We have to keep pounding away on it and going back to it and reevaluating it, which is what he does. You know, he's he's going back over the material did years ago. He's find, finding th- new things to do with it. Yeah, looking, uh, giving yourself the third eye to look. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, All if right. we're going to do forms, we we ought to try to set out some kind of agenda. Yeah, because forms are usually not that hard to do. I mean, once we go through, like, to the W-8 or the U-51, we can probably whip out one or two forms uh, a call. Well, well, but the the way I look at it, we've learned the theory, but the forms are where you have to apply the theory. And doing the forms is where we find out whether we really do understand the theory. Right, okay. So So it really is important. They aren't that easy (laughs) to do. They bring up real questions. Okay, so we should start with the beginning forms, right? Okay, yeah. To learn more about this information, contact us at glgse70n at gmail. Free yourself today. We're excited to provide you with access to the most up-to-date technology and research that have successfully helped numerous individuals in the past. We're confident that they can do the same for you. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or concerns. We highly recommend reviewing our information packet, which contains cutting edge and proven knowledge. We believe that access to this information is important for everyone, and we encourage you to share it with your friends and family.